Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet and today is um, January 22nd uh, and it is Wednesday and this is going to be Charm Chatter number I believe 13 um, and today we will be doing the uh, second in the series of the yarn comparisons um, that I wanted to, you know, compare with you. Um, we were comparing to the Stitch Studio yarn, uh, Stitch Studio Classic, available at AC Moore, and it is their store brand, and um, it was a yarn that I found I really liked. Uh, so last video, we compared Red Heart, uh, Impeccable from Michaels, their store brand from Michaels, Red Heart Super Saver, and um, Premier Every Day. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you, I did go through those yarns, which I didn't talk about last time. Um, I forgot, uh, but I will mention it this time. Uh, I did say what the costs of those yarns were, but not like the per yard cost. Um, and to be honest with you, I wrote them down on my handy dandy sheets of cheating paper. The um, Red Heart Super Saver, the cheapest price I found it, oh, excuse me, was at Walmart, but it's available in so many different places at, and at different prices. Um, but the least expensive that I found as a regular, oh, pardon me again, as a regular price was at Walmart for $3.11. Um, and that brought it down to under one penny per yard. Um, so that's pretty inexpensive. And the Michaels uh impeccable was uh, I have this over here. Okay, so the impeccable is three dollars and forty nine cents per skein for two hundred and seventy seven yards, which brings that to about a penny and a quarter, uh like one and one fourth cents per yard. And then the premier every day um was more expensive at hold on that's on a different sheet of paper i have notes everywhere this like i said uh oh uh, uh, i didn't say it in this one i started this once and then someone came to my door and i had to start over um anyway let's see the premiere every day is 3.99 um at premiere online 4.99 at michael's and joann's because uh premiere just lowered their prices so right now it's $3.99 as a regular price. I believe that's going to be a regular price. Uh, but there's only 180 yards in the skein, which makes it like almost uh, two, two cents per yard. Uh, so that was the most expensive. But out of those yarns so far, this is the only anti-pilling yarn that I found, if that makes a difference to you, um, that you would. And, and so um, I did want to go over that because I am including that in today's uh, chit chat. Uh, so, um, we're going to start with today. We're going to go over some yarns that are store yarns that people were telling me, Hey, look at this one and look at that one. So, um, I went to Joann's and I purchased big twist. Um, this color is magenta. Big it's soft. It's squishy. Um, I'm going to say it's not as soft as the Stitch Studio yarn that I have right there, but it's very soft. Um, so for the softness, I'm, I like it for the softness. It's not uh, rough like, uh, it's softer than Impeccable, softer than the old Red Heart, but I would say comparable, maybe softer than, well, softer than Impeccable, um, I think, I think it is. Um, and I would put it right in there with the softness of, of the Red Heart. Um, I'm pulling some of the other yarns back out. Maybe not, it's, I'm going to say not as soft as the Premier. I mean, if we're going to go through them, let's just do, let's just say that. Uh, so let me tell you about this yarn. It is, uh, 100% acrylic. All the yarns that I'll be reviewing are 100% acrylic. 
Uh, this one recommended a five millimeter hook and that's what I did the swatch in. Now, it, it's not anti-pilling. It says nothing about pilling on here at all. One thing to note on this yarn, which I did not notice on any of the others, this one specifically tells you to buy enough quantity because there might be a problem with um, dye lots. And I had, I don't believe I've seen that in any of the other yarns to like specifically mention that there might be a dye lot issue, but there might be a dye lot issue with this yarn. Uh, it is washable, but it does not. It is, and you can put a low iron on it, but it, it you cannot put it in the dryer. I was really surprised by that with it being um, acrylic, but it specifically says do not dry in the dryer. So now this is the, um, I did like it. Um, so it is 380 yards, which is 347 meters, six ounces, for 170 grams. Now this yarn is the regular price at Joann's, which it's only available at Joann's since it's their store brand. And it is available online at Joann's as well. Uh, $3.49 is the regular price. And at 380 yards, that puts it at less than a penny a, a yard. Um, just like the uh, Red Heart. So that was a real big plus for this. It's very... Um, Inexpensive, and it looks like at joanne.com I found it in 37 solid colors, but then there were other colors as well, you know, variegated. And um, then it comes in a thick and it comes, you know, like a chunky and stuff. Uh, so there's more options, um, but for the solid colors, I counted, I went on there, you know, online and I counted and I counted 37. and this is what it looks like worked up. Um, it's got the bigger holes in it uh, using the, you know, five millimeter hook that it recommended. Um, it does have the bigger, it's not as fluffy like, um, and I didn't cut this one apart. I'm not going to wash this one. You can't buy it. And, it, and so I might need this for Chloe's sweater. So I didn't cut this one up, but you see, there's like no real big holes. Um, and this is the Stitch Studio. That's our comparison yarn. So, uh, but this one does have the bigger holes, like, um, so it's not as fluffy. I, I think fluffy is the good word. So that is my take on the big twist. Um, but the holes in this one are comparable to the holes in this one, which is the uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Very comparable yarn, uh, and Super Saver has uh, obviously a lot more colors than 37. Uh, okay, so that's our big twist, and I'm gonna put it in, well, I'll leave it there. Then I went to Hobby Lobby because people had recommended, had asked, you know, and said, hey, what about Hobby Lobby? Now the Hobby Lobby yarns that I looked at, there's two of them that were acrylic that I noticed. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is I Love This Yarn. Um, I know most people have heard of I Love This Yarn. And this color I have, just in case you were interested in the color, this color is called Linen. And it's just like a off-white, um, but not... It's like a deep cream, maybe. Um, I really do like the color as far as a neutral color because it's like between, definitely between, I'm gonna say it's an ecru. That would be a, another nice name for it. Um, but they are calling it linen. Um, and this is, uh, it recommends a five millimeter hook, 100% acrylic for weight. You can use the washer and dryer, but no iron on this one. Um, it is sold at uh, Hobby Lobby only, and um, you can get it on online or you know in the store. It, it's pretty soft. I I I'm gonna say this is softer than the Big Twist, um, which I mean that's a good thing. It is more expensive at four ninety nine regular price. 
Uh, and I know, you know, all these yarns you can get on sale at the store. Uh, but we're looking at regular price. So regular price, it is $4.99 a skein. Um, the skeins consist of 355 yards, which means that this I Love This Yarn is almost one and a half cents per yard. Um, not the most expensive that, that we've come up with, um, and not, not like outrageous. And I know that 99% of you would never buy this on, at full price. You would wait till the next week when it's on sale at 30% off at Hobby Lobby. Um, I mean, I would. <laughs> um, I didn't done this because <laughs> it wasn't on sale the week that I was able to go to Hobby Lobby and I was just buying one skein. So I, and I had a 40% off coupon. So I did use the 40% off coupon on it. Um, and this is what that looks like. This is fluffier than the other, than the uh, big twist. The holes are not as large. Uh, it, so it is a little fluffier than the big twist and the um, Red Heart Super Saber. Not as fluffy as the Stitch Studio, but I really like this. Um, so that's what I have to tell you about that yarn. Oh, did I tell you? It comes in 64 colors, plus there's variegateds and uh, ombres, I think, and, you know, different. There's 64 solid colors on the on the website that I, and it is not, does not say anything about it being anti-pilling. Then the last one that I looked at at Hobby Lobby uh, is this Crafter's Secret yarn. Uh, I've only been to Hobby Lobby a couple of times, and I don't think I haven't even noticed this one, but someone had mentioned it to me, so I looked for it. Um, this one had very limited color choices online, um, like 17 colors is what I counted online today. Uh, but And there were a couple of, there were also like three variegated, or two variegated and an ombre, something to make it like 20 colors. Um, but solids, there were 17 colors. Now, if a color is out of stock, I don't know if they don't keep it online, but that's what was online as of today. Um, this yarn is $2.99 regular price. That's very inexpensive, and it does include a free pattern on the yarn ball, which I, I thought was pretty good for an inexpensive yarn. Um, this is coral. It's a very pretty color. I do like the color. Uh, so let's see. This is seven ounces, 100, uh, 199 grams, 355 yards, 20, which is 325 meters. You can wash and dry it, if I didn't say that, but do not iron. It uh, goes with a five and a half millimeter hook. So at 299 um, for when I say 355 yards, that puts this at less than a penny per yard. Very inexpensive. Um, right up there, you know, in the same, uh, probably maybe even less expensive than the Super Saver. Um, and this is what it looks like when it's crocheted up. I think it's a little, it's soft I and squishy. I do like it. Um, I think it's a little fluffier than um, the twist in the Super Saver. I think the holes are a little bit less, you know, closer together. Um, not as fluffy as the I Love This yarn. I would have no problem working with either of these yarns, to be quite honest with you. They're, they're nice. Um, all three of them. Out of the three of these yarns today, the big twist is the um, roughest. It, and, and it's not not nice. I mean, not at all. I mean, I don't want to get the wrong impression. But out of the three, I'm going to say out of these three, the big twist is the least squishy. Um, and the two Hobby Lobby yarns are I think the, um, I love this yarn is maybe silkier. 
um, but they both feel pretty nice. So I do like them very much. Um, even in the biggest drawback, I mean, the Crafter's Secret, it is available online, like I said, in the 17 colors, and you can get it in the store, and you can get it at the 30% off when they run that sale. Uh, it just doesn't have a real huge color selection, but for the price, I think it's a really nice yarn. I would buy it in a minute, um, particularly at the 30% off, and you're getting it for two bucks. Uh, I would have no problem working with that at all. So that's what I have for you today on the comparisons. I'm really anxious to see how some of these work up because if they're already soft and they get softer in the wash, these some of these will just be like really, really nice yarn, I think. Um, if they fall apart, <laughs> that will be interesting to know. Uh, you know, if you can get yarn for two bucks a skein on sale and it falls apart, then it's not worth two bucks at all. So, um, I, I, but I've heard good things from my subscribers on, on both of the Hobby Lobby yarns uh, and the Big Twist as well. Next video, I still have yarn that I'm getting from Premier. They came out with Basic Stitch? No. Basics. It's just basic, I think. Um, and I'm waiting for that. That should come tomorrow or Friday. Um, if it's, and I want to put that one, I did the one premiere every day already. Uh, and what I have left is uh, the Lion brand. I have two Lion brand yarns. Um, and so I thought I would put the premiere one in with that to do three that day. Um, and I have, um, here on Simply Soft and some um, a Michael's yarn and a Hobby Lobby yarn that are similar like with the sheen and the sleek you know sleekness um, that I'm also going to do one of the comparison videos on I mean they are more in my opinion it's they're they're 100% acrylic and they're four weight so they like meet the criteria of an everyday yarn but like the Karen Simply Soft to me doesn't seem like an everyday yarn. It seems more like a specialty yarn, a special project yarn. Maybe I'm wrong on that. What do you guys think? Um, I do want to put the Karen one pound or yeah, the Karen um, one pounder. Like the Simply Soft is that that sleek silky yarn, and the one pounder is more a yarn that reminds me more of like the Red Heart type. Um, not the sleek and sun and um, and I don't think they have uh, like a regular skein size that's not the simply soft you know that's got that special like shine and stuff to it um, I don't have a problem with that it's real pretty but these other yarns that don't have that shine are easier to mix intermingle together I think um, and then I had one more question for you guys before I sign this video off. I have and was going to include, and I, and I made up a little swatch and everything, of Mary Maxim's Worsted. I got this from them in a, gra in a mystery bag um, last, I don't know, <laughs> fall or spring maybe. Um, it's really a nice soft yarn. I really do like it. Uh, and I wanted to include it in my yarn comparisons. And when I went online, they only had three colors available. Like, I thought this was, like, their store, you know, acrylic. But I'm wondering if they're discontinuing this yarn. Um, because they only had three colors available online when I looked. And I did the swatch, and I, like, I really like it. Um, so they're probably getting rid of it because every yarn I seem to like really much for this kind of thing, they seem to be wanting to get rid of. Uh, that's always, that's the way it always works out for me. Well, not always, but frequently. Um, you know, if I like something, it's the most expensive, the hardest to get, or you can't get it at all anymore. Um, but anyway, I'm, I've been saying all a lot today, sorry. If you guys know about the Mary Maxim Worsted, and that's all like that's 
Let's look what it says. Uh, it does say that it's anti-pill, and I, that I'm not reviewing it, and I'm not going to include it if it's discontinued. So if you guys know if it's discontinued, let me know. Um, it's a nice yarn, and um, I hope that it's not really discontinued, but I, I think it might be. So that's what we have for today for our series uh, number two. So I think there will be at least two more plus a recap video of what I think after everything is washed. That'll be the last one. I'm going to wash all the samples and let you know what I think after it's washed and show you all of the, you know, washed products and let you make up your own minds. Um, you know, what you think of it after it's washed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. Um, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hey, push that button doesn't cost you nothing. Uh, and then if you push the button, push the little bell. If you want to see more of my videos or the rest of the yarn comparisons, you can get notified that way. Uh, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great yarny rest of your day. And I'm going to go out to dinner. See ya. Bye.